Hydro Boost and Vacuum Boost are two types of power brake systems used in vehicles. Hydro Boost uses hydraulic pressure from the power steering pump to provide additional force to the brake system. Vacuum Boost, on the other hand, uses vacuum pressure from the engine to provide assistance to the brake system. Both systems have their own advantages and disadvantages, and the choice between them often depends on the specific requirements of the vehicle. In this video, we break down the differences between Hydroboost vs Vacuum Boost. Let's get on to the comparison video now. Hydroboost Pros provides consistent and powerful braking force even at high engine RPM or low vacuum levels, can improve braking performance in vehicles with high performance engines, more compact and lighter than vacuum boost systems. Cons requires a reliable and properly functioning power steering system, can be more complex to install and repair compared to vacuum boost systems, more dependent on high pressure hydraulic fluid and requires a pump to pressurize it, which adds to cost and maintenance. Vacuum Boost Pros Simple, reliable, and cost-effective compared to Hydro Boost systems, not dependent on other systems such as power steering, easy to install and maintain. Cons Limited braking power compared to Hydro Boost systems, especially at high engine RPM, can suffer from vacuum loss at high engine RPM or during rapid throttle changes. Here's a comparison of their features. Functionality. The vacuum boost system uses engine vacuum to provide the power needed to operate the brake booster, which in turn provides extra force to the master cylinder to increase braking power. The hydro boost system, on the other hand, uses hydraulic pressure from the power steering pump to operate the brake booster. Power output. Hydro boost systems generally provide more power to the brakes than vacuum boost systems. This is because hydraulic pressure can be more easily and precisely controlled than vacuum pressure. Size Hydro boost systems are generally smaller than vacuum boost systems, which can be an advantage in vehicles with limited space under the hood. Maintenance Hydro boost systems are generally more complex than vacuum boost systems, which can make them more difficult and expensive to repair. However, they are less likely to suffer from vacuum leaks and other problems associated with vacuum boost systems. Cost Hydro boost systems are generally more expensive than vacuum boost systems, both in terms of the cost of the system itself and the cost of installation. Fuel economy Hydro boost systems can provide better fuel economy than vacuum boost systems, as they don't require the engine to produce as much vacuum. Overall, the choice between a hydro boost and vacuum boost system will depend on the specific needs of the vehicle and then driver. Hydro boost systems provide more power and better fuel economy, but they are more complex and expensive to maintain. Vacuum boost systems are simpler and less expensive, but may not provide as much power as hydro boost systems. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.